our little, there's a little band kind of that goes across the top of the tower here on Chris Point. And you want your fine liner brush. I'm just going to put that Now, if you made it too thick, you just go ahead and put a little, and a little white line through the middle there. And there's a couple of windows we got to put in. window right here. Now if you want to sketch these in before you start just painting them in, go ahead. And there's a window down here. They don't have to be perfect. Just little windows. Okay. So got our windows in. Got most of our lighthouse done. One thing you can do once the tower itself is dry, you can take a stiff bristle brush and make a dark gray color, just a black and a little bit of white. And you can just dry brush in, just make that shadow a little darker if you want. If you're not interested in doing that, if you want to just keep it, keep it how it is, that's okay. This is just to make it a little bit, a little bit more contrast, a little bit more dramatic. And if you're going along and you're like, oh no, I went too far. I don't like how far I brought that out. You can just dip back into white and cover that up. That's not the end of the world. Okay. Well, there we go with that. And we can put our light in now that this is dry. Got some charcoal up there. Just going to put our light in. All you need for that is just a touch of yellow and white. Since I've already got my white here, that little bit of yellow. So what we're going to work on now is the light. And for that, I've got the white here already and I just put a little drop of yellow on my plate. And I've got another detail brush. Or if you've only got a couple, you know, you can just keep washing them and using them again and again. So I'm just doing a little bit of white, a little bit of yellow. It's making a real pale yellow color. I'm going to put that right in the middle there. And then I'm going to brush the excess off so that there's not much paint left in my bristles. And then I'm just going to fill these ones with kind of the hazy yellow. There's not as much paint on my bristles, so it's not 
filling as well. It's a little bit more transparent where this one is a lot brighter. And if you want even to go like some straight white in there to make it extra bright right there, you can do that. So there, we've got a light in our tower now. Now we need some highlights on our grass. And my grass is mostly dry. It's dry enough to put highlights on. So I'm going to get, you can use your chip brush or you can use any of those stiff bristled brushes we just used. I'm going to get my chip brush back out and dry it out. We're going to make a little highlight color. And all we need for that, a little bit of brown, a little bit of yellow. You can put a touch of green in it if you want to, but I don't think I'm going to this time. I'm just, I've still got that yellow from the light there. I'm going to use that up since I have it. A little bit of brown, a little bit of yellow. You know what? I have a touch of green. Just a touch. Mostly brown and yellow. I just got a little bit in the tips of my bristles. Not a lot, just a little bit in the tips. I even brushed some of that out there. Now we're just gonna tap some of that highlight color into the trees. Now see, I don't have a lot of paint in the bristles. So it's not globbing on, it's just making a nice little highlight. And then tap a little more color in, put the highlights in, and the grass around the base of the tower. And voila, you have grass. That's all I'm going to do for that. That's enough grass for me. And with that, I think our little painting is done. I hope you enjoyed painting along with me today. And if you ever get a chance to visit Chris Point, it's a really cool place. Find some agates on the beach. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for joining me. Before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my new classes.